freaking but it's also so bright for no reason oh my gosh i'm like up against this very bright beige wall anyways that class was really hard it doesn't get any easier but that's good we love a good challenge welcome back to another video today is going to be kind of like a day in our life saturday in our life living in Atlanta. I generally like to start out Saturdays by one, sleeping in, and then two, some kind of workout, whether it's Orange Theory, Pilates, Yoga Sculpt, and then usually going to the mall after, to be honest. Usually we do date night on Saturdays because we don't generally eat out during the week. We kind of save that for Saturdays to do like a nice date night. Not really nice, just like something other than making food at home. I've been wanting to go to like a holiday pop-up bar because they just started like a couple weeks ago. They're like all sold out of reservations, so I don't know if we'll get to do that tonight, but we'll do something fun. Just picked up a bagel from Bagel Boys to get like, get it out. The egg, cheddar, and sausage just on a plain bagel. It's really good. Oh man, this is gonna hit. But anyways, my mouth is literally watering looking at this. So I'm about to inhale it and then probably go into the mall just for a little bit, just to look. There's some things I need from Sephora. Like I need more of my makeup remover. Oh, they gave me a lot of muffin. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But yeah, I'll probably just go into a few other stores like Zara, Lulu, and just have a chill day. Jake is working. That's why he didn't go to Pilates with me. Usually he goes, but he should be off around one or two, I think. And then he'll probably work out himself. Also, we're going to decorate our apartment for Christmas. I'm so excited. I usually wait until like the day after Thanksgiving to start decorating, but I feel like this year everyone is like decorating super early. So I'm like, why not join them? So I think we're going to do that. Jake's going to help me. I'm going to make them. So that'll be fun. All right. Just got back home. Just fed Jax and took him on a walk. So he is enjoying a bully braid right now. I didn't do a ton of damage at the mall, honestly. Proud of myself. I only got stuff from Sephora and Ulta, clearly. The only thing I got from Ulta, well, I guess I got three things. If you sell tan, I don't know if this is like a common thing or anything, but the deluxe tan remover works so well. I definitely have to like let it sit for 15, 20 minutes, like sometimes even 30 minutes for it to like really get all off. Then when you get in the shower, like it literally just all melts off. It's amazing. Highly recommend this. And then this is what I use. I haven't tried Ultra Dark or the Platinum. I just use the Dark 2 Hour Express one and it works really well for me. I do two coats though, so maybe that's why, but I don't know, I really like it. And then just got NYX lip liner. I've been really big into lip liner lately and this is in the shade Mauve. I went to Sephora. The only two things that I went in there for was to get more of this makeup remover cleansing balm. This is the best stuff ever. It's pharmacy, clearly clean. So they have two kinds. This is the best kind if you have like sensitive skin or if your skin just does not react well to like stuff with fragrance, stuff that's like harsh. This is literally the cleanest, best stuff ever. And it like really gets all of your makeup off and like with cheer i use waterproof mascara waterproof eyeliner like literally everything waterproof because i would sweat it all off if not and this stuff like really gets it all it's like the only kind i've tried so many different kinds i've tried like clinique cleansing balm that was like 50 dollars. i've tried the glow recipe like the Pia one or something. This is really the best brand. It's kind of pricey, but a little does go a long way. Like you really don't need much. And I got another Laneige. I have these everywhere. One in my car, one in my cheer bag, one in my work bag, one in my bathroom, and then like one to like put in my purses, like when I'm switching purses. This is definitely my favorite. I think it's like the original flavor scent, whatever. Berry, I think is what it is. I don't really know. But it just has like a pink tint, which I really like. And then I also like the vanilla one just because that's like obviously clear i don't really like any of the other ones to be honest like there's a purple one it tastes really good it's called gummy bear and then there's like a mango one but that one's like more yellowy so original and the vanilla are definitely the best let me just get all this stuff out jake's gonna walk in and be like what did you do <laughs> next i got the anastasia lip liner or is it anastasia i don't know how to pronounce it but their lip liner is the best and it's not crazy expensive i think it's 18 dollars but it's like a big pencil and they last forever. And it stays really well. NYX, I like to like try different colors because they're cheap. I think they're like $7. But they just definitely don't work as well as Anastasia, I've noticed. And then I got the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray. Literally the best setting spray. I've noticed my skin likes this better than like Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray that I've been using since high school. And then I got the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 
lipstick in Kim KW. The reason I actually got these two colors is because of an influencer I follow. She does this lip combo and her lips are always like fab. So I think I'm gonna try it. This is just kind of like a light pink. And so the outside of the lips will be like super dark and then you go in with this like super light lipstick and it gives that like, not ombre effect, but just like two-tone lips. I think it's really pretty. Okay, so the TikToker Alex, who does like get ready with me is on TikTok. She convinced me to do this. So I've never like used baking powder or like setting powder ever. And she influenced me. So I got the Huda Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in Pound Cake. So we're gonna give it a whirl tonight. I'm gonna try it. And then I also got the Beauty Blender Power Puck power pocket puff and this is what i think she uses to like set it because it's like triangle shape so it kind of like gets in your crease a lot better so we're gonna give a whirl never been a baking girl but we'll see i think i'm going to shower and then get started on christmas decorations jake should be home any minute now i'm so excited to start decorating look at the tree up it like looks weird in this lighting for some reason and it's, a little it's like only showing. It yeah, it definitely needs to be like fluffed up and stuff. Honestly, I'm very pleasantly shocked that all of my Christmas decorations fit in two boxes. Yeah, most of it got into two boxes. Jax, what are you eating? Are you eating the fluff? That's not that's not good for you. I don't think that's healthy. But yeah, she's gorge. About to decorate her. So we got a flock tree. We got this last year. I want to say at Hobby Lobby. I don't know why the lighting looks so weird. I promise they're like all lit. But anyways, we're going to decorate it now. I think I'm just going to go with the same color scheme that I went with the past two years, which is just like gold and silver mixed. But I think I'm going to start to get away from the silver and just do like gold. And I think I want to add some like wooden ornaments too because we have like this wooden TV stand like that color wood but just because like I feel like when it's all like glass ornaments and like super shiny it's kind of a lot so I kind of want to get away from doing as much as that and just do like some wooden to just add some texture or whatever you want to call it I guess we're all that <laughs> those ears Holly hanging across the door Neighbors singing tales of yore It's so close, hardly can wait Waking up on Christmas There's no better place. Okay, Christmas has officially like thrown up all over our living room, so that's great. This is the only progress I've made so far. I fluffed that out. It's, it does still look a little crooked. I don't know why. So we're gonna fix that. Ornaments, that'll be easy though. Putting those up and then we got stockings. You guys, I got Jack's a stocking. Can you help him, mommy put up your stocking? Which one do you want? This one or this one? Say the old one. Daddy wants the new one. Which one do you want? This one? Okay, you've been looking at this Pick one. one. This is yours. This is your stocking, Bubba. That's your first Christmas. Uh-huh. You might find a bully braid or some treats in there. Mom goes in the middle. JSJ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the only reason. Wrapped around the tree, snowflakes dancing in the street. Presents tied up with a string. All right, it's a couple hours later. I just got dressed. I'm just feeling kind of lazy. Not feeling like getting dressed up too nice. But I'm about to do my makeup really fast. We have to leave in like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna like speedy just put on some makeup and I wanna use the new products I got from Sephora. Jax is being a good boy and sitting right beside me, watching me. I don't think I'm gonna do anything to my hair. I'm going on like day four hair right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to work in my spray tan. Dear God, we're just all over the place. Okay, about to do my base really quickly and then we'll try out the new setting powder. I'm super excited about that.
to set it all. I've never used setting or baking powder like ever in my life. So we will see how this goes. I'm really scared. I'm just gonna dip it in there. I don't know how much to do really. I think that was too much, whatever. I don't know if that's right or not, but we'll see. <laughs> I can't believe I've never done this before. I feel like this is such a common thing like in makeup and I've just never done it. Okay, moving on. This is my favorite eyeshadow palette ever. It's Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Dreams Luxury Palette. And these four colors are just like so freaking pretty. I'm obsessed. I like this one the most. I literally put this all over my eyelid. It's so pretty. I just already know my makeup is about to look so sloppy because I literally have 10 minutes. We're down to two minutes, awesome. <laughs> I've always struggled finding like a really good eyeshadow that's not Urban Decay because I've used like all of their naked palettes. Like I've bought every single one since they came out like when I was 12. Okay, eyeshadow's done. On to eyebrows. Oh my God, I'm literally filling them in so quickly. <laughs> okay, I think we're good there. Curl the lashes, favorite step. <laughs> Wait. Jax, are you getting dinner? Wait. Okay, good boy. You're about to hear him chowing down. This is also the best eyeliner ever. Kat Von D Tattoo Pencil Liner for like your tight line and waterline. It's the only eyeliner that stays like for several, several hours for me. Okay, mascara. This is also the best mascara and it's literally like $5. It's so good. It's Essence Lash Princess Waterproof. I'm so jealous of girls that don't have to wear like waterproof mascara and they don't get like raccoon eyes by the end of the day because I used to always get raccoon eyes and I'm so bad. Okay, I'm gonna wait and do bottom liner. Now for the test. Wipe this all off. Ooh, okay. I feel like it kind of took some of my contour off, but whatever. What really is it supposed to do? Someone tell me. I do feel like it like brightened my face up. Okay, now blush, this is Tarte blush. Works really, really well. Gotta have this. Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter is the best. I'm gonna do a little bit of highlights. Conic London Illuminator is also really good. It's expensive, I think it's like 40 bucks. So there's definitely cheaper options out there, but I will say you only have to do the smallest amount. I also love a good nose highlight. It's like my favorite. Okay, mm -hmm. last thing is this lip combo. Okay, lipstick, last thing, and then we need to go. About to put my jacket back on, put Jacks in this crate, and then head to our reservation. So we love that for him. But I've stayed Cheers very strict Jake. on it. I haven't had bread in eight weeks. He really hasn't, which um, I don't think I could do. I would die. But yeah, we're gonna celebrate a good week of eating with some bad eating. Back home, 
was a little man. I just changed my PJs and we're just sitting on the couch now. Bastogne was amazing. Service was amazing too. We had a bomb waitress. She actually got us free dessert, which was very nice. Since Jake is on his diet, he can't have any. So I guess I'll have to eat it all myself. It's like a chocolate pound cake with like whipped cream and some kind of nuts. It's really good. Can you hear Jack's drinking water in the background? Get it all now. He's eyeing this dessert. I'm sorry, buddy, you can't have any. It has chocolate in it. <laughs> he just played fetch downstairs and so he's exhausted. I don't think I ever showed like the final product of the tree and the, what do you call that, garland? That's pretty much all we do in the living room like, cause we don't have a huge apartment. I mean, it's two bedroom, two bath. Hey, and we have a living room and kitchen, but like, how are you gonna decorate your kitchen for Christmas? I don't know, I guess I definitely could. <laughs> Why did you just do a pirouette out of the room? Because I wanted it to be dramatic. Uh -oh. What do you rate Bastogne? Bastogne was good. Um, I would give it just, just like the food itself. I'd give it a an 8-9. The menu, versatility is slim. Because it's like a nice restaurant. Yeah. Nicer restaurants don't have like Cheesecake Factory size menu because they have like specials. Hey, don't get me started on this. And also, we went for happy hour, so our choice of pasta was like four different types. So Buddy, that's not maybe a chew we'll toy. go back. The food was delicious. It was a really, really good date night. We recommend if you live in Atlanta, go check it out. Or if you're visiting Atlanta, definitely go check it out. It's really good. Jax is. Um, He's chewing his, his peanut I gave butter him, lick pad. Yeah, I gave him a peanut butter lick pad a couple hours ago, and he still. Jax, there's no peanut butter left on that. <laughs> but yeah, I think we're gonna call it a night. About to watch Captain Phillips. Yeah, I didn't know that this movie was old. In existence. I saw on TikTok, like it was on my For You page of like a clip of the movie. And I was like, oh my gosh, this looks really good. And Jake was like, that movie came out like 10 years ago. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I'm probably gonna go ahead and end off this vlog because. It'll be bedtime gonna... after the yeah, movie. Yeah, gonna go to sleep, but. Thanks for watching this vlog and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.